Hey guys, what is up? It's the Pope's Hackers here, and today I'm just going to be going over the multiplayer of this game, Black Ops Call of Duty Zombies, as you can read right here. So, let's get started. Single player. Now I'm going to go into the Kino. Here you have the regular, uh, or you have the difficulty, which I chose regular. You have your character select, and I choose Nikolai, and... As you're, if you're familiar with these characters, then you know the aspects of the each and every single one. And I'll just continue. Um, considering this iPad 2, it should load pretty damn fast. However, on the other um, devices, it might lag and so on that. So when you initially start off, you start off here with a knife over here. Um, you move back and forth sideways, or you walk at least. Uh, with this side of with this side or with the left side and you just turn around anywhere touching on the uh, right side of the initial iPad and then to aim you press this over here oops sorry guys and you just knife by pressing that And you can crouch by pressing this over here where my thumb is. And up here is a pause button and which round you are on. And you repair barricades and do interactions by touching this right here. For example, I can go to the quick revive. And yep, there you go. And uh, up here, what you have is the uh, the ammo. So now that was pretty much the skeleton of this review. And now here are some of my opinions. Now, when we take a look at Call of Duty, um, <coughs> or FPSs in general, I mean, for like FPSs on the iPad, iPad, um. Really, I've seen graphics much better than this, and that have been outdated as of uh, as of the use of graphics and applications. So, I mean, graphics-wise, this needs to get better. And um, as for that, that's uh, the graphics should be better. The controls are fine. People complain about controls, but I really have no problem with these controls. They are actually pretty decent. Um, as for the weapons, weapons are nicely balanced, just as the original COD, so, I mean, I have no problems with that, evenly spaced weapons, even nice, uh, nice weapons. Now, the problem here is that what you have, essentially, is a game that's way too easy now this game compared to the actual one is too easy because one there is no running there is no running a uh, running uh, option along with that um, the zombies are just too slow and too uh, useless to actually even do anything so you can last through millions of rounds I mean and compared to the actual one for the consoles, it's absolutely nothing. It's absolutely shit. Or I want to say that, but it's not as good as the consoles. And as you can see, I can just get by. There has been no running zombies for the past few rounds. And that is a big problem because the whole point and difficulty of Call of Duty Zombies is because of those running zombies. But really, it's just slow ass zombies here anyway so that is the review for this part of the section um there are some slip ups that um were made in the making of this game but i'm gonna say that they are okay this game is okay i recommend buying it because of the multiplayer and because of what i'm going to show you next so that part is is, is all right um, the next part, the arcade, is something that I actually enjoy playing, uh, surprisingly. 
So this is the arcade, DenOps arcade. And basically the whole point is just to survive, just like the normal uh, normal gameplay. However, the twist is you are in a third person view and you have power ups and it's just like an arcade game. So really in an essence it is much, uh, it is quite fun. Graphics are up to date. It it, it just feels uh, pretty nice. You have power ups over here. You can just run into the zombies if you uh if you have the power up and uh yeah i mean th that's pretty much it you just live wave after wave getting power up after power up very nicely structured controls are very nice because you can just move around if you like you know i mean i have i think that this is very well made and compared to the uh the normal um uh, Black Ops ver uh, section, I mean, this deserves quite a noteworthy aspect because just of how well it's made and the graphics. I mean, graphics are decent, not the best graphics, but they're better than the other mode, the original mode. So, I mean, props to that. Um, graphics are good. In my opinion, it could be slightly better, but I mean, in essence, everything's nice. So, yeah, guys, that is the review. Um, there's really nothing much to say because everything is as it, as it is and we've already seen most of the gameplay on the original Call of Duty Zombies for the iPad and the iPhone, you know, the original World at War. So I mean this is no, much, no different, the graphics are the same pretty much so that needs to be improved. Some controls may need to be improved but overall the game seems to be finally working. Um, uh, I give it uh, a recommendation to buy it. Not a very high recommendation, but a slight recommendation. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Pope Sackers. Peace.